Hello, this is Amjad Al Mandelawi from Baghdad, Iraq, showing a possible way of implantation of RV lead into the septa. We use what is called the Mondi stylets or S derivative. It is a stylet with a large primary curve around 20 centimeter and a smaller distal curve that is nearly perpendicular to the primary curve. This one is commercially available. So our case is an 80-year-old man with complete heart block. We use a handmade stylet. It's an ordinary stylet that we made a large curve, primary curve, and made a smaller one that is 2 cm at the distal tip. And this should face posteriorly so that it will impinge on the septum. Use the RIO degree, RIO 30 degrees, to view the septum in profile and avoid foreshortening. Normally, we push the lead into the RVOT and then pull it back until it falls in the, into the septum, or you can go directly to the septum. So this is the RIO view that put is, uh, puts the septum uh, in a profile without foreshortening. We make a nine block imaginary grid from the spine to the external border of the heart. Here we see this is in the RIO 30 degrees, a nine degree, a nine grid, nine block grid from the spine to the external border of the heart. The point of interest is in the middle block where we where we have the septum and you imp, you need to implant the tip of the lead at this area. If this is not possible, then the upper middle block will give you an RBOT septal implantation. Then use the alloy of 40 degree to make sure of, of your position. The lead should face posteriorly with an angle less than 60 degrees to the horizontal. This is an alloy of 40 degrees and this is our lead. This is the temporary pacemaker the lead. The lead should face posteriorly. And another thing that we draw a horizontal line the lead angle to this horizontal line should be 60 degrees and less to make sure that it is in the septum. Other angles usually point to the anterior wall or RV free wall. So from 60 degree to zero, it is the septal. From 60 to 120 degrees is the anterior wall and anything more than the 120 degree is the RV free wall. The pacemaker lead, that is the temporary lead, is pointing toward the apex, and our lead, permanent pacemaker lead, is pointing toward the septum. So after implantation, this is what it looks like. Uh, during implantation, you should avoid entering into the coronary sinus, which is also has this direction in the LIO view. And this is the final of dual chamber pacemaker with our RA lead and an RV lead facing posteriorly. During the implantation, we do some testing, and uh, if you see, this is the temporary lead shows a wide complex QRS, wide QRS complex, and this is the septal pacing, which is an hour complex. This is the 12 lead ECG with a temporary lead in the apical position, shows left bundle branch block with widening of the QRS, and this is after septal lead implantation, an hour QRS complex, with some R wave in the inferior lease. This is an important uh, article, a reference point to teach you how to do pacemaker implantation into the septum. And thank you.